Okay, so I left off on the car at this point. Um, one last thing I had not mentioned is actually just running a smooth. And now in one mode, it will be smoothed out. Um, now from here, what I'm going to do is I want to explain what is called the outliner. Um, I'm not too concerned about my car not being connected or anything. Um, all I want to do is make sure that my file is starting to be cleaned up. So if I go to Windows and I go to Outliner, you'll start to notice all of this stuff in here. Some of this stuff may not even be anything. So if you'll notice here, oh, well, there's half the car. Um, we're going to not want stuff like that to be broken um, at any point while we're going through our file. We don't want stuff like that to happen. That's just weird. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start to make sure everything that we have in our scene is what we need in our scene and anything that isn't in our scene, such as, let's see what this one is, this is probably the other side, um, we begin to clean all this up. Now how we do that is the first thing I want to do, if I select on my mesh here, you'll notice it's all one solid mesh, um, but in my outliner it's not. And you'll notice all this information here in my inputs, I want to go ahead and wipe all that out. And you'll notice I have a ton of that information in, um, well, just in the main body of the car, I must have already wiped it out on the fender. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit, Delete All by Type, History, and you'll notice all that wipes out. And you'll notice some things in here, um, such as this P cube 3 now is no longer an anything. It's a null object. There's nothing connected to it. It's just um, pretty much useless information up to here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to go through and double check to see if there's anything else that seems absolutely necessary to get rid of. All right, from here, I'm going to start naming my objects so I can get a clear idea of what's in here. And also, when keeping a clean fire file, uh, I want to make sure that I um, freeze transformations in my channel box. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to name each one of my objects and freeze transformations. That one's good. Same thing here. Okay. Now it's giving me an error and it's saying I, it can't freeze transformations on this particular object. And the reason being is more than likely I have it as a duplicate special, which is okay. Um, if, for whatever reason, at any point, I'm just going to cover this now, you need this to not, to need it to be totally wiped or whatever, just delete it, command D, scale negative one, instead of having it as a duplicate special, have it as a uh, instead of a duplicate special, just a duplicated object. Now, I'll go in here and I'm going to check each one of these. These are my um, objects. Now if we have a ton of objects in our scene that we've duplicated a bajillion times because we need that many and just naming them all does not make seem to make so much uh, sense basically because it'll take too long and it's not really getting us anywhere. So why don't we do command G and group them. And we're going to name these uh, front grill. And now I've just went ahead and named all of them. Um, as for this right fender, and all of your objects in your scene should be named. This will be rear right wheel. Rear left wheel. Front left wheel, front right wheel, and windshield. Now up to this point, I've got hopefully everything named in my scene. This can be my ground plane. And 
Now, the reason we do this is just in case we're working on this file with anyone else, um, so we can, they can navigate our scene very easily, um, as well as just navigating your own scene very easily. So um, once it gets to have a lot of objects within the scene, um, this will be super helpful to navigate through your objects. Um, up to this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight everything and just run a modify freeze transformations. And everything should be zeroed out. And this is where we are left off. We have a clean outliner. All of our properties are in our input box are all wiped out. And um, this is our clean file. And um, that's really all there is to keeping a clean file. Um, just naming your objects. Then also um, edit, delete all by type history. And um, if you have a lot of objects uh, with the same polycube, one, two, three, et cetera, uh, you can go ahead and group those to keep it um, a little bit easier and um, time efficient in organizing your outliner. Uh, thanks for watching.